here is the my ui from the motorola and here is the ui and of the about phone the android version we get here is 12 the my ui version is 4.0 and this is the port rom so you can see the device name as 30 pro and so yeah as 30 pro so this is considering itself as the motorola as 30 pro it's a port rom from motorola this is the settings page ui and this is the a quick look at the home screen ui as you can see this is the app drawer and the notification shade here is quite different bit different and this is the quick settings panel and this is the notification shade first of all go into this system these are the options and in the performance we can boost the ram boost and it will need to restart the device but it's just not working it stays at the 0 gb only so ram boost my extended ram here is not working the feature here is not working then video call effects we get to see i haven't seen any changes in the video calls but i don't think it's working it just stays the same if it's turned on or off so, yeah. then the backup and everything the developer options these are just the same options available usual options nothing here is new moving back in the system updates this is the ui but you will you won't get any system updates so it's of no use then the digital well-being here is available works fine apart from digital well-being we also get to see the screen usage time which works good i am using this from one week now but there was some issue i had faced which i'll show you later in the video because of that i had to format the phone so yeah now moving back going to security the screen lock fingerprint face unlock everything works fine no issues with that screen lock here is working perfectly fine the going to the gestures one key tap here but there is no key available here like in the motorola phone so yeah the windows sidebar here is available which we can turn it on from here which just looks like the samsung edge one and you can add the application from here whatever the app you want so this is the sidebar and for the quick access to application and as you can see it works in floating window now moving back the wake the display option here is available moving phone as you can see it works fine now the open camera quickly we it's the same option the system navigation gestures we get to see these two options the android 9 option the gestures that options are not available but yeah the android 10 12 options here are available then the one-handed mode here is also available and is working perfectly fine the lift to check phone here is also working the three fingers screenshot now in motorola phones you don't have to swipe the three fingers you have to just press and hold these three fingers to take the screenshot as you can see so yeah it's a bit different then swipe to split okay this is how you can go to split screen mode so this is the, so this gesture here is available but i don't think it's of use okay yeah now moving back the desktop and lock screen in the home settings these are all the options double tap to turn off screen swipe access the global search here this is the global search available as you can see this is how the global search works and if you want you can turn that off i would prefer to turn that off because whenever i swipe down i want the quick settings or the notification shade so yeah the global search here is just not of use for me then the status bar icons here the internet speed we can see system icons moving back the quick setting style so here is the modern style the quick settings and here is the classic style which is the like the stock android ui this is how the classic style looks i would prefer the modern style because it looks something new so it's great then the lock screen and screen timeout just the same options then in the personalize these are the options available we can personalize a lot of things this is the quick ui and these are all the icon packs available for the moto then the colors what are the colors you we want the wallpaper colors you can set according to the wallpaper color then the themes here are available as you can see these are all the themes available from the motorola and uh, the fonts we can change the fonts 
the icon shape font size display size system theme the dark mode and light mode whatever you want then the sounds here there is a bug present in the sound which i'll show you later in the video so watch the video till the end in the bug i'll show you in the bug section that thing so yeah now moving forward to the display options these are the options and extra dim option here works perfectly fine the adaptive brightness dark theme night light display refresh rate we can set to 120 hertz or auto auto it sets to 120 hertz according to the battery life and yeah it's just great the attentive display option here is available which will turn your camera always on so yeah the camera just won't work because it has gone dead. the three finger screenshot which i had shown you already the peak display swipe display ready for everything the screen recorder option here is available and here are the settings for the screen record which works fine then moving back uh, these were the only options available now going to the home screen taking a look at some motorola app this is the moto app which comes with the motorola phones only and this is how it looks what we can access the gestures and everything here available is available in the settings which i had already shown you the side bias three finger screenshot gestures tips what's new the display peak display attentive display everything i had shown you in these settings so it's of no use to show it again but the games here option is available and the gaming mode option here is also available and then they play the games media control everything here is works fine then the device shield option here is also available and as you can see if you want we can clear this is a similar to xiaomi security app so we can access or change the permissions directly from here but it's better than the xiaomi security app the network and background running apps the battery saver find my phone and if you want we can clear the data from here the moto note application here is available which is a note in application the, all the motorola stock apps here are available in this phone now talking about the camera here the camera for me has gone dead for the poco x2 so but at the time i installed the room the camera was working this is the stock motorola cam app it was working fine but while using it suddenly just camera just got stopped so for me the rear camera has gone dead but the front camera here is working in the gcam as you can see the gcam also rear camera not working and the front cam works fine as you can see then talking about the performance the performance on this room here is great so here are the geekbench scores 524 and 1531 the scores are pretty impressive and oh, overall performance also on this room here is pretty impressive everything just works fine it's quick fluid room and everything just works fine talking about the safety net status the safety net status has failed on this room and the banking apps will just not run as this is a ported room so maybe the cts has failed so the banking apps won't work on this room so take a note of it before installing the room now talking about the bugs here there are a lot of bugs present first bug here is in the notification shade this just don't go the finishing system update I had formatted this phone and tried again but still this won't go this is a bug present then as you can see this is also a bug that sometimes it just stops this is the app world from motorola so yeah then another bug here is i don't feel that is bug but this is a widget issue sometimes it shows the time but sometimes it just won't so the widget just won't show here this is a bug present then that are yeah, there is no option to hide this pill like it's in stock android so it just stays two punch holes here we cannot make it to a pill so that's also uh, an issue many of us won't like that but in if you use it in the dark mode then it would it will work great then these are the other stock motorola apps the games compass ui help lenovo scanner otherwise everything works fine there are a lot of bloatwares available but the rom works pretty good and it's a ported rom so there are some bugs and i would not suggest you to flash this rom because i had faced this issue after flashing and using it for one week after that the camera just my ca rare camera just gone dead 
front is working but rear has gone dead but previously it was working completely fine <coughs> so yeah this was it for now if you enjoy this video then don't forget to hit the like button if you are new to this channel then please guys subscribe to the channel if you have any questions then you can ask me in the comment section below or in the telegram group i'll meet you in the next one till then stay safe have fun and bye